Hello friends, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're going to make black eyed peas for some good luck in the new year. So there's always been this thing, it's kind of Southern, I guess, that like when I've been growing up on the mountain my whole life, everybody's always said, did you eat your black eyed peas for New Year's so that way you'll have good luck. So you know what? I learned to eat these because you never know. It might work. It might be just superstition, but what the heck? We're going to give it a go. Now you can make these in different ways. You can soak your black eyed peas overnight and then make them in a pot, which that's going to take a lot longer to cook because once you soak them overnight and then the next day you're going to cook these for like three hours in that pot or you could actually go for a dutch oven and make it go a little faster or even an instapot which is what i'm going to use and i got some goya black eyed peas which you know these things are hard to find in the store sometimes and later i'm going to add an extra ingredient i'm going to use some kingsford cajun seasoning which you don't have to use because it's not on my cutting board right here but it will give extra flavor so let's get going with this you're going to need about two cups of ham or some ham hocks to put in this because where i come from you put some ham in this it just gives a flavor it kind of perks it up gives it a little something extra plus you get some meat out of the deal so i had leftover ham which is what i'm going to use in here and i'm going to cut it up to what looks like it could be about two cups i mean i'm not going to measure this but you can put as much in as you want if you don't want a lot of ham you don't have to we're just using it for a little bit of flavoring but you can actually use a cup if you wanted it just depends on what you're in the mood for now if you don't have ham get some ham hocks they sell them at the grocery store they are a little pricey but you still you can get them put them in and it will do the job so i'm going to cut my ham up and get it ready to roll and then move on to the next step afterwards So make sure when you cut your ham up, if that's what you're using, that you cut it into small enough bits that will work if people are spooning this like out of a bowl to eat. So I have my Instapot here and what I'm putting in first is two cups of chicken broth. Now, a lot of people just use water. If you use the chicken broth, you're going to get extra flavor from that. It's just going to help in the end because later on I will be adding water to this, but we're just going to start out with the two cups of chicken broth. And then after that's in, we're going to add in one pound of black eyed peas. Now, when you put your black eyed peas and everything in here, we're just dumping this all in because eventually once it's ready to go, we're just going to give it a stir and let it cook. And that means all the ingredients will be in all at once. Then we're going to add in the ham or if you had ham hocks, you're going to put those in. Then we're going to add in a medium cut up onion. And then we're going to add some seasoning to this. So what we're going to have first is one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then we're going to have about a teaspoon of minced garlic. And then I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of Kingsford Cajun seasoning because I think this actually just gives it an extra edge. Some people put peppers in, but I do this. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of sugar. And then after that's all in, we're going to put in four cups of water. Now, if you were doing this like in a Dutch oven or something like that, you're going to probably cook this for at least a good hour and a half in the Dutch oven. But if you did this on the pressure cooker on the Instapot, you literally could have this done in around like, you know, 20 some minutes to 25 minutes on the pressure cooker. But in the Dutch oven, it takes a while longer. So once everything is in there, just give it a good stir, put a lid on it, and we're going to let it cook. And once it's done, it looks something like this. And this has such an amazing taste, but the best thing about it is, if this really does bring good luck, then what a great meal to have to get it. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks, which are available in bookstores worldwide. The first is about everyday cooking. The second is all about baking. Have a great day.